Hello everyone, today we want to talk about top 10 Daniel De Luis movies. Number 10, The Unbearable Lightness of Being, 1988. Director, Philip Kaufman. Actors, Juliette Binoche, Lena Olin, Derek DeLint. Central Europe, 1968. A Czech doctor with an active sex life meets a woman who wants monogamy. And then, the Soviet invasion further disrupts their lives. One of the greatest and most beautiful films I have ever seen. It's a movie that is returned and returned and does not tire of it. I love every character, especially Daniel and Juliet. IMDb 7.3, Metascore 73, Rotten Tomatoes 85. Never. <laughs> Number 9. The Boxer, 1997. Director Jim Sheridan. Actors Emily Watson, Lorraine Kilkington. Young Danny Flynn is released from prison 14 years after taking the rap for the IRA and tries to rebuild his life in his old Belfast neighborhood. This film is an absolute masterpiece from beginning to end. Few movies have so much to tell and then find such intended ways to narrate the story. Although this violent world is the setting for the film, at the center it's a love story and a really good one. IMDb 7, Metascore 75, Rotten Tomatoes 77. You were giving me my freedom, but you wanted me to stay faithful to you. I was only 19. Number 8, Gangs of New York. 2002. Director Martin Scorsese. Actors Leonardo DiCaprio, Cameron Diaz, Jim Broadbent. In 1862, Amsterdam Vallon returns to the Five Points area of New York City seeking revenge against Bill the Butcher, his father's killer. I love this movie. From its heartbreaking opening to its truly melancholy ending, this film lives with so many mixed emotions that just further supports the emotional weight of this film. If by the final scene you don't either feel a positive or negative emotion to what you saw. IMDb 7.5, Metascore 72, Rotten Tomatoes 77. I can't seem to get anything right tonight. <laughs> Number 7. The Last of the Mohicans. 1992. Director Michael Mann. Actors Madeleine Stowe, Russell Means, Eric Shuey. Three trappers protect the daughters of a British colonel in the midst of the French and Indian War. Madeleine Stowe, Daniel DeLuise, Russell Means, they were all amazing. The action sequels, the war portrayal, the atmosphere shown and the amazing locations, they were all perfect. IMDb 7.7, .7, Metascore 76, Rotten Tomatoes 91. Stay alive, no matter what occurs. I will find you. Number 6, The Age of Innocence, 1993. Director, Martin Scorsese. Actors, Michelle Pfeiffer, Winona Ryder. A tale of 19th century New York high society in which a young lawyer falls in love with a woman separated from her husband, while he is engaged to the woman's cousin. The film was beautifully shot. The story is absolutely gut-wrenching. Each scene made me more anxious for the next, and it made my heart physically ache for the Daniel Deloitte character. What a predicament! As usual, D. Lewis was superb. IMDb 7.2, Metascore 90, Rotten Tomatoes 80. No, because I don't mean to marry anyone else. Number 5, Lincoln, 2012. Director, Steven Spielberg. Actors, Sally Phil, David Strutter, Joseph Gordon-Levitt. As the American Civil War continues to rage, America's president struggles with continuing carnage on the battlefield 
as he fights with many inside his own cabinet on the decision to emancipate the slaves. In my estimation, Spielberg's Lincoln will become the definitive movie on Abraham Lincoln. Daniel D. Lewis absolutely disappeared into his character. IMDb 7.3, Metascore 86, Rotten Tomatoes 85. Mightn't that save at least the idea of democracy to aspire to? Eventually to become worthy of? Number 4. Phantom Thread, 2017. Director Paul Thomas Anderson. Actors Leslie Manville, Vicky Cripps, Julie Volono. Set in 1950s London, Reynolds Woodcock is a renowned dressmaker whose fastidious, whose fastidious life is disrupted by a young, strong-willed woman, Alma, who becomes his muse and lover. Intimate, delicate, and a beautifully crafted masterpiece. Paul Thomas Anderson manages to express an artist's creativity journey through threads of fashion and romance. Daniel DeLuis adds a new extraordinary character to his gallery of extraordinary characters. IMDb 7.4, Metascore 90, Rotten Tomatoes 81. You have me all the time. No. What are you talking about? I don't. I, there, there's, there are always people around. Number 3. In the Name of the Father, 1993. Director Jim Sheridan. Actors Pet Post Letwaite, Emma Thompson, Anthony Brophy. A man's coerced confession to an IRA bombing he didn't commit results in the imprisonment of his father as well. An English lawyer fights to free them. The story itself is harrowing, but the way in which Deloitte portrays Gary Conlon is heartbreaking at times. Several scenes in the film may be hard to take for those with a sensitive nature. This film is the epitome of heartbreaking drama. Performances from everyone in this film are top-notch. IMDb 8.1, Metascore 84, Rotten Tomatoes 95. Number 2. There Will Be Blood, 2007. Director Paul Thomas Anderson. Actors Paul Dano, Kieran Hines, Barry Del Sherman. A story of family, religion, hatred, oil and madness focusing on a turn of the century prospector in the early days of the business. There Will Be Blood is brilliant, directed by Paul Thomas Anderson and the characters are intriguing. In fact, to me, the character of Daniel plain view makes the movie. Magnificently portrayed by Daniel DeLuis, he is quite complex. IMDb 8.2, Metascore 93, Rotten Tomatoes 89. I drink it up! Don't bully me, Daniel! <laughs> Before we talk about number one, please subscribe our channel. Thank you so much. Number one, My Left Foot, 1989. Director Jim Sheridan. Actors Randa Freaker, Kristen Shridden, Declan Crocan, Christy Brown. Born with cerebral palsy, learns to paint and write with his only controllable limb, his left foot. The acting is amazing, which is not hard to believe since it's Daniel D. Lewis, who is an amazing actor. Brenda Fricker is the surprise wonder in it. She captures your heart as the mother of a physically disabled boy who is not able to walk or speak until he is in his late teens. IMDb 7.9, Metascore 97, Rotten Tomatoes 95. So now I tell you the painting. Religious on the circus. 